Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Tiras Wayaki and Kigondu Karedi back at Broadcasting House. Um, what a dramatic day we've had today. Um, Esape Kalapi, two birds hit his windscreen. The driver's side was extremely cracked. He had to drive at street, uh, street uh, what I call it, traffic jump speeds. So he lost 10 minutes overall on the st uh, at the final stage of uh, sorry, um, sleeping warrior, which incidentally was dry. We have never had a dry sleeping warrior. And uh, all of them are surprised. There is not much to fight for, but he says that if things are going wrong, then everything will go wrong. And for Oitanak, he's had a smooth run, but still, because of the gremlins that he had yesterday, not everything went his way. So we are taking a look at a Toyota 1-2. Carla Rovan Perra leading two hours, 48 minutes, uh, 50.2 seconds. And uh, next is Takamoto Katsuta in second place. Two hours, 50 minutes, 59.1. Um, Terry Noiville has had two stages um, where he had problems uh, with his engine. He was basically running on simple power. He couldn't do anything past 100 kph, so he lost 11 minutes of that time. And uh, coming up next, let's talk to uh, Takamoto Katsuta. Um, Takasan is here. Takasan, another stage win for you. Um, a feeling about the second loop? Yeah, it was uh, quite uh, rough and difficult. Um, we expected the lane coming, but the um, attempt didn't come, so it was quite... Let's say we are preparing for the rain, so a bit disappointed to be honest. But uh, yeah, without problems, no puncture in the afternoon, so it was when everything went pretty well. Well, some colorful language at the end of uh, Sleeping Warrior coming in from your navigator. What was happening? Um, you know, he was talking about the car not having full power. Um, yeah, kind of issue on the car, so we had to switch, go back to the road mode and things. And my uh, co-driver was organizing it, like when you can back on uh, stage mode, when you need to go road mode. Like I was just uh, following what he's saying, so it was quite, uh, let's say, he did an amazing job to following the situation, so it was good. Well, we've um, already, so you've secured yourself 15 points so far for Saturday. Uh, Super Sunday is coming. What's the plan for it? Uh, maximum 12 available for you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like Sunday is still going on and uh, everybody, especially who already lost a lot of time, everybody wants to take the points. So it's going to be quite tight, quite difficult to take the point from them. But uh, still, we need to focus that way we are now and second position is it's a very good point, position and we need to bring bring to the end for sure. This is one of the biggest jobs for my for me, so I just focus my job for tomorrow as well. Your rivals Hyundai have been uh, dominant the first two seasons. This could be it for you, the boost for the season for Toyota. Yeah, but uh, not everything ends yet, so we need to just uh, keep focus and keep pushing. All right. Thank you all the best. Thank you and very thank much. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you've had it from Takamoto Katsuta. Um, he is driving for Toyota. And uh, the other member of the team, Elvin Evans, um, is. He did uh, suffer a puncture late on. And uh, that is a story that has changed his position. He was lying third and is now five minutes, 33 seconds behind Adrian Formo. Uh, punctures have been the story of the day and uh, if you go down Gas Greensmith leading the WRC2 category and Oliver Sol but second um, difference between them 1 minute 55 seconds and it's been quite impressive coming in from Greensmith who has been unwell hydration problems that have been there so there is quite a lot that is there to be fought for um, in this WRC Safari Rally. Well, Terry Noiville is here uh, also He's speaking with WRC TV. So Terry Noiville is joining us right now. Well, he's had a good morning, but for Terry Noiville, it's a, what we can call a day of two halves. And uh, Terry, after you know, a smooth flowing morning, the afternoon, the first loop went well, then you lost uh, power. What is it that happened to the engine when you were doing soy sample too? Yeah, um, obviously technical issue which we couldn't solve, so we lost a lot of time and uh, important points in the fight for the championship, but uh, nothing we could do except continue fighting and uh, that's what we're going to do tomorrow as well to take some extra points and uh, go home with hopefully good enough points for the championship. Well, um, at one point you had to 
stop dead um, how were you uh, trying to do the research and re uh, what's the mode you were on because at times you couldn't go past 75 <laughs> kph no 75 35 yeah <laughs> um, no f at that point you can't do a lot um, I think we yeah we weren't quick enough to solve the problem we didn't know what was the problem actually and the team couldn't really support us in there so we had to end the loop like this it went a bit wet on the last stage due to a different stage mode we, we were running but at the end, uh, yeah, too much time lost and important points uh, lost in the fight for the championship. Well, let's now talk about uh, Super Sunday. I know your mechanics will be working hard to make sure you can probably uh, maximize on the possible 12 strategy for tomorrow. Yeah, there are 12 points to take and uh, we're going to try to take the most of them. Won't be an easy day and lots of people will be pushing tomorrow. But uh, yeah, uh, after that problem, we have no choice. Thank you all the best. Well, you can hear that he does accept that they really did not know what was going on. And that is Alvin Evans who is coming uh, in. And actually, when you take a look at these hybrid cars, they're supposed to be on a hybrid mode, um, electric mode. And as an electric vehicle, and they're coming into service. But that should tell you something. At times, they've got lost of power. Uh, this morning, the, some of the drivers were saying that they had lost their hybrid and so they had to drive uh, fully on engine mode. That means they've lost about 100 horsepower that comes through the hybrid. And so they try and maximize on the 380 uh, horsepower that uh, the engine would uh, produce when at optimal boost. Well, speaking about the rally, um, now let me just move on and uh, mention that at the moment, the best place Kenyan, Carl Tundo, who has got a cumulative time of three minutes, 44, tempo, uh, uh, sec three, three hours, 44 minutes, 10.2 seconds. Uh, he's driving a Ford, and this is his first season uh, where he is uh, driving that Ford. The next is uh, Karan Patel. Looks like he's going to be getting back on Super Rally tomorrow. So a lot of penalties accumulated by Karan Patel. Four hours, nine minutes, 21.4 seconds. The mechanical gremlins that he suffered have changed everything within that. Akib Virani also suffered some gremlins, which means that he's also going to be uh, getting back into the rally on uh, Super Rally mode after 4 hours, 11 minutes, 50.0 seconds, and the next is uh, Minesh Rathod. So 21 competitors still in the running in this event. Hamza Anwar um, all getting to Slipping Warrior, 38 minutes, 19.8 will be the other Kenyan. So we're looking at 22 competitors of the 27 who started. It's been a story of atrophy in the WRC Safari Rally so far. So, well, I'll be taking you back to studio, uh, Kigo Karedi and... Uh, Tiras Waiyaki as we wait for the other drivers who are coming in to the holding in area um, we know that uh, just before I get back to you I can see that we've got uh, Kale Rovanpera who's the rally leader uh, speaking to WRC TV um, if I just turn to my right I can see that he's there hopefully we can get him before we do this well tomorrow three stage uh, stages to be run in the morning uh, remember there is going to be Malewa it's the shortest stage of the rally just about 8 k's uh, there's 18 kilometers of Oserian and finally the the 11 odd km's of uh, Hell's Gate remember Hell's, uh, actually Hell's Gate 2 is going to be the second one is going to be live on KBC Channel 1 at 9 a.m. And the third one is um, Austerian 1. Then they will come back here. It's going to be a short service, only 15 minutes. So the mechanics and the turnaround time um, holding in out is just about half an hour, not the uh, almost for one hour. You know, 15 minutes that they normally they've been having at lunchtime service and that which they have in the evening. And then we will have the second rounds of all the other studios. Well, let's. We shall be speaking with Elton Evans, who's also here. Well, the Toyota boy is all gathered here, ready to talk to us. So then, and uh, also, uh, we've got Adrian Formo, who is lined up. So we can speak uh, to Adrian in just a short while. Um, we know he's there. And also standing next to me, Tim Principal, Hyundai. So the whole lineup is, uh, is there. So the team print all the I see real uh, coming through. Well, um, it's been a topsy turvy yeah. uh, event for you. Um, today was the oddest two birds doing away a windscreen. But yeah. overall, yeah, 
overall your take on it, um, the, ac the slight accident that, um, uh, the accident that Oit had yesterday, probably the odd bust of the gearbox on, for EP and uh, Thierry losing power. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, today what we saw is, to a certain degree, a bit the, uh, the aftermath of uh, of, uh, of yesterday's accident, which uh, which are a bit acting as a snowball effect. Uh, yes, we we serviced the car yesterday. We repaired damage the best that we could. Um, but you know, you're never totally sure. And actually, that's only when you go out again that you start to see the things that you may not have seen. So, for instance, uh, the window issue on Oit's car, the door latch issues on Oit's car. That was very much related to the crash he had yesterday that we didn't see, we didn't change, uh, and, uh, and therefore the issues that he had on, on, uh, on EP's car uh, with the transmission issues that he had yesterday meant that he was going to open the road, and he did, uh, the birds, because when you are the first car on the road, it's not just the cleaning effect, but it's also the fact that you, are, you see there is a wildlife here, uh, and uh, the first car are pushing this, this, this wildlife away, and uh, that's very clear that from this morning uh, already, and this afternoon again, uh, he, he was uh, facing with uh, the challenge of, uh, of that you have that when you're opening the road. But if we, want, we don't want to have to open the road, that's very simple. We don't have to have any uh, reliability issues that, like, like yesterday. So it's, uh, you know, it's self-inflicted uh, issue to a certain degree, which are kicking off on the first day and they are continuing in the, in the next days into, into the weekend. So it's very unfortunate because it's a beautiful event. Uh, it's a beautiful rally. Uh, we've seen a fantastic uh, you know, image and fantastic landscape again uh, in this rally. We'd like to do better, but, uh, but we, have to be, we have to be stronger to stand the test of, uh, of Kenya Safari Rally. Uh, what would you give to the team uh, in terms of orders so that you know can still get the manufacturer's points tomorrow? Yeah, I mean we need to go uh, flat out for it tomorrow, in particular with uh, with Voigt and uh, and Thierry and uh, and uh, EP as uh, as a backup. Uh, we, we see that it's very tight between uh, Thierry and uh, and Evans. Uh, Thierry actually, despite all the issues, is not that far away from Evans, who also had his uh, his lot of issues. Um, and uh, and same thing for uh, for for Hoyt. I think we we can see that the car. When it's working, it's actually uh, working pretty well and it's having good pace. So let's see tomorrow. Hopefully, we can have a straight fight. Thank you very much. Cyril. He's Cyril Abitable. He is the team principal of uh, the Hyundai team. And you can hear saying it's a snowball effect that comes um, with what happened yesterday um, a blown transmission that came through. Then he also had that little uh, prop. There was a case of a rock on the road that threw off um, Oitanak, and so he was able to do that. So next is Elvin Evans. Well, lying fourth at the moment. Elvin, um, you know, it's not. Um, it's a crazy aft uh, afternoon. Um, took uh, um, the tires really did take you out. Um, just keep, take us through. Yeah, I mean, it's not been a, not been a, a great day, of course. Two punctures this morning, another one this afternoon. So, yeah, really a, a day to forget. Well, looking at uh, the possibility of tomorrow, you uh, in fourth place. You still have you collected the Saturday points, and hopefully you'll retain them. You know, towards the end of the rally. What would be your approach for Super Sunday? Of course, I think we're going to drive with a good rhythm, but it's still a very difficult and, and tough day, so not easy to go through without issue. So, uh, yeah, of course, we're, we're wanting to, to drive well, but uh, I won't risk all on, on the line. It's still Safari Rally after all. Well, they say one of the most difficult things to predict is the weather. No rain, not sleeping warrior. How did you find that stage when it's dry on a Saturday afternoon? Well, I would say it's a lot more enjoyable than when it's wet normally, uh, so I can't say I missed the rain this year. Well, for the team, uh, an opportunity to collect um, manufacturer's points uh, to keep the fire going. Uh, what would be the approach for you, uh, Takasan, and uh, also Kale? I can't speak for the, for the <laughs> other guys. Uh, I can only focus on, on my day tomorrow. We need to try and have a clean day, and that's it. Thank you. Thanks. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. And there, you've had it from Alvin Evans. Not really, it really wants the points. And uh, remember, out at Rally Sweden, he was at a place, uh, he eventually won the maximum points, but he was not the rally winner. So that's the story of the new rules when it comes to Super Sunday. Now we've got the rally leader, Kale Rovantola. Uh, Kale, we saw you slightly back off. Um, this afternoon, just give, 
give us, let's take us through the strategy of our soy some uh, two element fighter two and the odd one, a dry sleeping warrior stage. Um, yeah, it was quite clear plan to, to have a good cap, let's say. Um, and then again, the guys behind had some trouble. The cap was quite big, so then the plan was just to to keep it steady, let's say, um, try to avoid all the problems, and we did that well. Well, 18 points collected today provisionally, uh, going by the new rules. Uh, Super Sunday is there. What is your plan for that? Um, we haven't decided yet. I need to speak with the team, but probably we will go quite easy and, and try to bring home the win. Well, expected conditions, uh, because it looks like the weatherman and uh, everything is going sideways. Uh, no rain, uh, no rain, no rain. Yeah, let's see. All right, thank you. Thank All you. the best. See, tomorrow hoping that you do have a good run. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Kale Rovan Pera, who is the rally leader so far. Cumulative time um, from him, two hours, 48 minutes, 50.2 seconds. His teammate Takamoto Katsuta is two minutes, 8.9 seconds behind. And you can see that Toyota pushing this. The gremlins at Hyundai have suffered. They had a good start on Friday. Then things started actually on, on Thursday, uh, Friday morning, um, Friday afternoon went sideways for them. So we've had from, you know, the drivers who are including Thierry Neuville, who's not really happy with how everything has gone for him. Those are the rally leaders so far. And remember tomorrow, 74. Uh, kilometers of competitive stage is what everyone's going to be fighting for. And uh, the row of a car behind you, the one that's coming in, that is uh, the WRC2 leader, Gas Greensmith, because if I just looks like it's my left, I can see he's coming in. You'd have to consider him the hero of the day it's because he is he has been unwell and he's been trying to do all that he can to make sure that he's hydrated. And look, he's held the lead. Um, Oliver Solberg has been pushing real hard. And that means that, yeah, there's still a lot to fight for in that division. Kaito Kajetanovic still uh, reading the dub, uh, leading the WRC2 Challenger uh, division. Third overall in the WRC2. So there's still a lot to fight for in this rally. Even as the others come back, well, for Ford, uh, good news for them. Gregor Munster will be back on Super Rally mode tomorrow. And this is after he suffered suspension damage earlier in the morning. And so there are going to be two of the three of them, together with the man who's just joined us, Adrian Formo. Um, Adrian, uh, Adrian, you're really um, taking it um, stage by stage slowly. And now possible po um, podium position is where you are. Well, uh, slow, not really, I would say. Uh, we have been really pushing on the, on the quite clean stages uh, and some clean part of the stages. Uh, we are pushing a bit less in the really rocky play, uh, parts, so this is why I think we, we get some good liability with the car. So I'm pleased now that it's working and we are third overall, so we are taking points of the third position tonight. Uh, so we have a good gap for, with the fourth position behind us, so we will have to manage it tomorrow. Well, we've got to manage it because there is, it's, tomorrow is a short day. Um, still a long stage. Still a long, yeah. Yeah, still a long stage. It's 74 a.m. Um, that's be, just about one third of what you've done. Less than one third of what you've done today. But what will be the strategy? Knowing that there's still a lot of points to fight for. Yeah, there were still some points to get tomorrow. So I still want to have a, a push, but not too crazy because I don't want to break the car now. Uh, so we'll have to find the balance between the two. For sure, we still want to keep the, the points from tonight, but we also want some for tomorrow, so we'll have to find the balance. I think it will be not so easy. All the right. best tomorrow. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Well, we're having the conversation about the points, and let me just open this Saturday points rule and Super Sunday. So this is what happens. On Saturday, at the end of the day, points will be awarded based on general classification. So first gets 18 points, second 15, third 13, fourth 10 points all the way to 10th who gets a point but there is a rule you must finish the rally on sunday if you have to keep this point so next is something known as super sunday and this is where whoever finishes first gets seven points six five four three two one down to seventh position then there are the wolf pass stage points five four three two one going for fast to fifth on that stage so there's a lot to fight for and that's why it's known as super sunday well, my name is Daniel Wahome. I'm at the Media Zone at the Wildlife Research and Training Institute, and I'm handing you over back.
Sue, Broadcasting House, Tiras Waiyaki, and Kigondu Karedi. And I'm sure you've got the whole breakdown of the Saturday and Super Sunday point system. Yes, we do, Daniel, and we explained to Kenyans what that entails yesterday. And I'm glad you've given it a recap and pretty much given those who may not have watched us or understood what we were on about because it's a new uh, points-based system that was introduced this year, uh, a chance to sort of have some, some food for thought. Anyway, that was Wahome, down in, or, or up in Naivasha, whichever way you choose to look at it. Uh, Welcome back to studio. Uh, Kebo Karidi is here with me, and we were discussing the Kenyan rally drivers. Yeah. Yesterday, um, obviously, unfortunately, Nikhil Sachanya um, got out of the rally, yeah. and, and there was no chance of him coming back because his vehicle got badly damaged. He actually rolled. Yes. But um, both him and his co-driver escaped and hurt. Yeah. Bless him. Now we're looking at Hamza Anwar. Hamza Anwar got out yesterday. He came back through the super rally open window yeah. that uh, that gives one a new lease of life yeah. but on sunday which is the last day you don't get that new lease yeah, of life yeah, yeah. if you're out you're out exactly. and then he's gone out again today mechanical issues yeah. uh how many times can you go in and come back and go in and come back before sunday which is the last day you 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 can use the super rally until the second last day of the rally so you know you come out on friday you come back on saturday you come back you come what out. i what if i come out in the morning no, no, no. I, 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 can I come back and, and I... And come out again. And I come out no, again no, no, no. on the same only, day. Only once, only once. Only once a once day. Once for the day. So there's, once a, for the there's day, a cap yes. to it. Yeah, yes. because it entails joining the rally again at the last service of the day. So there's no way you can come out one stage and then come back the second stage. You have to come out, you have to rejoin the rally at the last service of the day. So he can come back tomorrow morning. Uh, the penalties though do accrue, so he's definitely not going to score well. Uh, a lot of the crews decide to just continue doing the rally so that they get time in the seat, test the car, maybe see what else can break. But, uh, you know, scoring well, going up the leaderboard, very difficult. Why is this thing of a lot of Kenyan drivers seem to be preferring, since time immemorial, mm -hmm. to drive about in Subarus when it comes to the safari rally? Well, uh, Subarus are popular here. Um, WRC 1 cars are very expensive. Uh, WRC 2 cars are a little more affordable, but uh, the ones then, that are then more popular are Skoda. Yeah, maybe this is a question that should be put to Subaru. Why don't they have a WRC 2 car that can contest uh, in, in the local championships? Um, because if you look at our ladies, Subaru, 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 yeah. and even some of our younger drivers, the lads, yeah. uh, Subaru, Subaru, Subaru. Subarus are popular in Kenya. Go back Subarus in the day, are Patrick Njiru Subaru. Yes. Subarus <laughs> in the 90s and we'll, the we'll, we'll, we'll continue with that. Yeah. Um, it's time for the news feed, which is more rallying action. Um, let's have a look at that.
sure but in a very similar place the last time actually but I was taking a lot of care so let's see yeah of course uh, they might have done the shot um, just really scrappy overall within uh, yeah uh, traumatic This morning, yeah, a lot better. We had a still a big issue on the car, so we had to off the stage more than the things. But still, uh, I'm very, very happy to through the stage. And uh, I must say, Aaron did a super job um, on this stage. I was just following what he's saying, so huge thanks to him. quite good so of course uh, we took it carefully uh, not so enjoyable when you have a big lead and uh, stage like this where you just go around every single rock um, it's scary and the whole stage we didn't have the hybrid so we was not so fast either but I think it doesn't matter at this point the lead is good and tomorrow is still a tough day so we try to finish the job kovaa sillä kun tarvii ja sitten tosi fiksusti, että vähiten on ongelmia kaikista ja ajettu kyllä fiksusti, että huomenna jatketaan sama. Can you give us a bit more info now? Yeah, uh, no, actually not, but yeah, um, I don't know, we're going to keep fighting. I mean, uh, we, we, we will not stop there, we're going to continue fighting and uh, give our very best. It wasn't our day today, but uh, it's not all over. What is the issue though? Because you keep stopping, maybe not in here, but you kept stopping. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. We. We're going to see back in service. Electrical, fuel pressure. We're going to find out. And 
Where did it happen? How? Well, it's our first issue since the beginning of the rally, so statistically it's quite okay. Uh, but uh, it's just in a one corner. The lines were pushing really hard, and on the other side there was a rock. Uh, so I get a slow puncture. I tried to manage it, but in one time the, 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 the tire have just exploded. So. But we'll see. It's still some good points for today. Uh, so we we touch uh, a rock hiding uh, under the bushes uh, on the rear left, and basically we we bent uh, most of the arms. Uh, and broke one. We wanted to change the broken one, but uh, as everything was bent, it was impossible to put it back into place. Um, and we needed a full TCA, which uh, we didn't carry as well. So, uh, so yeah, it was game over. On a touché a rocher caché sous des buissons à l'arrière gauche, um, suffisant pour uh, casser un, un bras et plier la plupart des autres. Et donc malheureusement, même si on avait le, le bras à changer, euh, ce n'était pas possible de le remettre en place puisque tout était plié et on n'avait pas la, la pièce euh, mère pour pouvoir, euh, pour pouvoir faire ces, ces réparations-là. Et puis on, a, on, avait, euh, on était euh, au-dessus du temps à partie, donc euh, c'était game over.